Well, soccer coach under fire, and now after our investigation, the state attorney general is fielding complaints from angry parents. Uh, this after many claim the coach kept their money for a planned uh, travel team trip that had to be canceled the last minute. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester with reaction tonight from the AG and the coach. Parents are mad, their children are disappointed, and the coach is now shedding new light on what he says happened. This is police urge you to get in touch with them. When I went looking for answers, soccer coach James Tyers sped right by. However, today through his attorney released a statement. It reads in part, James is sorry a mistake was made in registering for the Gothia Cup and understands the frustration and disappointment parents and their children feel. There appear to be a relatively small number of parents still owed a refund. Unfortunately, a seemingly small number of parents seem intent on putting James out of business, which is counter to their stated desire to receive a refund. James's intent has been to ensure that affected families receive a refund, and he is continuing to work toward this end. However, you talk to some parents and they claim the coach has been contesting chargebacks. I want answers to what happened, how did this lead up and fall apart? The drama began over the summer when the coach revealed plans for the team trip to Sweden. Many families signed up and paid up. However, what they didn't know at the time was the coach missed the deadline to attend. The trip was canceled. Today, the Michigan Attorney General's Office releasing this information. In the past three weeks, the Attorney General's Office has received complaints against Corver Coaching and James Tires. While we encourage anyone who's had a problem with this company to file a complaint with the Attorney General's Office, we also strongly recommend they contact their local law enforcement agency or county prosecutor immediately as they may be able to resolve the complaint quickly. We have the full statement from the coach and also from the attorney general. You can find all of that information on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm consumer investigator Hank Winchester. Okay, Hank, the company which runs the soccer program in Sweden, by the way, revealed the coach not only failed to meet the deadline to register, but has also ignored their calls and emails.